Do you know how much you need to have a decent retirement? Uh, I have no idea. No. No, actually that's something I'm not sure of at all. Uh, I'm not sure at all. I haven't done any calculations based on that. Well, if I was to tell you you need to save at least £200,000, do you think you could do that? Ooh, no. That sounds a bit scary. <laughs> uh... Young people not planning for their future? It's no big surprise. UK pensions are undergoing such upheaval, it's hard enough for those who are planning for retirement. New workplace pension rules, changes to what you can do with your pension when you retire, and all that before you get to SIPs, SASs, and the whole range of personal pensions available. And what about just how confusing it must be for those about to enter the workforce or who have just started their careers? Arguably, now is the time in their lives when it could make the biggest difference for their future pensions. So how does it break down? Most people in the UK say they would like about two-thirds of their final salary on retirement. Now, if the average wage in the UK is £25,000, then that means about £17,000. At retirement, you can expect £7,000 of that to be provided by the state, leaving a shortfall of £10,000. To deliver an income, a private income of £10,000 a year, you need a pension fund of about £200,000. Now that's a lot of money, but the sooner you start, the easier it is to achieve that. And let's bring that to life. If you're a 20 year old today, and you spend two pounds on a cup of coffee, if you sacrifice that coffee and put that two pounds into your pension, and your employer matches it, which will probably happen, and that two pounds from yourself, two pounds from your employer, would amass, amazingly, to about 200,000 pounds by the time you reach your retirement. Pension or coffee? Coffee, every single time without even having to think about it. That's something that I think should definitely be encouraged. That's, yeah. <laughs> wow, OK. Yeah, but I do like coffee. Young people today will live longer and have longer retirements than their parents, some 20 or 30 years beyond their normal retirement dates. They will have to save more than any other generation, and the potential for a crash landing looks severe. Pensions Minister Ross Altman says the private sector should be doing more to engage youngsters. The opportunity is there for the industry. The government is handing them millions of customers on a plate in auto enrolment. They are starting to save in a pension. If we can make it engaging for them, if we can help people not be frightened of it, then I think we will be on a much better path for people to look after themselves and trust the industry as well to provide them with good products and good services that they will want to do more with. But what are the government's role? Is enough being done to raise awareness and educate people from an early age? I don't feel like I had access to a huge amount of information or don't feel I was very well educated on pensions. I felt like I did a lot of my own exploring of it. Um, partly from talking to my parents and sort of trying to get my head around uh, what it all meant trying to understand, I mean, at an earlier age, trying to understand words like mortgage and pension and like what they might mean for me. Um, I feel like it should, this stuff should be happening at quite a young age, actually, in the same way as we start understanding what a salary is. Financial education is really important. And indeed, we've already put financial education into the national curriculum at schools. The government is doing quite a lot at the moment in terms of trying to raise awareness of the value of pension saving, the fact that you can automatically be put into a pension in the workplace, and also allowing people the freedom and choice to decide what to do with their pension later in life. And these things are all a fundamental part of helping people want to and take responsibility for their own financial planning. A recent survey from the Office for National Statistics showed that 50% of people struggle to start saving for their pension, either because they are unemployed, a student, or simply don't have any money. The government's auto-enrolment scheme still has two years to go before it's fully rolled out, but the risk is that if people don't know how much they need to save, then the UK faces a generation of pensioners dependent on a state that can't afford them. Hugo Greenhouch, Financial Times, London.